Jay, get your act together. I almost hey. said shit, but I said act instead. Paul, we don't cuss on this your channel. I've Sorry. We've decided the MPAA shit. says we don't do that. Hey, Paul. Shit. Paul. Yeah. Cheers. Cheer. Oh, cheers. Here, let me crack open this beer, Mike. Oh, uh, oh. Well, I just did. Okay. There we go. All right. So All right. let me. Cheers. <sighs> okay. Cheers. I'm recording right, now. Jay. All right, Jay. Cheers. Cheers. One, two, three, cheers. Wait. All right, so welcome to this uh, special off-season YouTube exclusive. Hold on, let me turn my camera around. <laughs> Great. Piece of content called, uh, well, I mean, normally on my channel, it's called Public Domain Theater. And the movie that we're about to watch is, in fact, in the public domain. Mike picked it out. Uh, Mike, what's it called? Uh, Beyond LSD. Yeah, so this is a little thing that we're trying out kind of as a, a little bit of an experiment. We got me, we got Mike Hayes here, we got Jason Hulls here. Chris had to go do a thing, apparently. Idiot. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Real know. Real jerk. But we're going we're gonna to watch this movie together uh, called Beyond LSD. It's only like 20-something minutes, 21 minutes. So... Um, Guys, I'm going to count this down, and we're all going to hit play. Is that is that how this is going to work? That sounds good. Uh, you tell us. You're the director. All right. As long as everybody's got it pulled up on YouTube, we are going to do this. And and you don't have to wa you don't have to pull this up on YouTube yourself if you're watching. It's going to be incorporated into the video. So, so do all you got to do is watch this, and you'll be good to go. Hey, Paul, do you need me to tell you what the YouTube link is? No, I have it. Because it's youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals capital no. X. Oh, okay. All right. So it's going to be three, two, one, play. You guys ready? I didn't hit yes. play just then. No, good. It's going to be three, two, one, play. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Yes. Great song. Oh, I'm 10 seconds into it. <laughs> Shit. I'm I'm six Sh seconds into it. I'm ten seconds Shit. now. Shit. Really? Yeah. Shit. Do you want to start it over? Yes. Should we wait? We're redoing this. Yeah, we're redoing. Right, I've hit pause. Go back to the beginning. I'm on zero. That happened. I'm on zero. All right. I'm at zero. I'm on zero as well. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, play. All right. That time it worked. Great, great song. Is this this is our LSD guy? Probably. Uh, I'm drinking a PBR. <laughs> what is this? Like, this song is supposed to be, like, trippy or something, huh? It's supposed to discourage you from doing the acid. This is, like, Nixon's idea of fucking, like... <laughs> God. Mike, where did you find this? YouTube doc. I tried to give you the link, Paul. Yeah, I got it because I'm watching it right now, but where did you find it? She's uh, tired. YouTube. YouTube.com. <laughs> oh, she's driving on LSD. Oh, she did. Wait, did the ambulance crash because of. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Well, let's not freak out here. People are on LSD, so these things are going to happen. Oh, she's dead. They put a coat on her head. Meanwhile, they're piping around that smoke. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't see too much smoke there. It's back there. Oh, it's definitely back there. Is that the monkeys playing? Cool band. You think they're still together? No. <laughs> I hope so. I think two are still alive. One is we're we're the one sixties anti Hellas D band. Oh, I think they're probably pro Hellas D. Do you think you think the government tricked them into doing this? No, I'm just saying. Look at all the colors. They're into this. Oh show. yeah, they are into it. They're the ones that are going to be pushing the Hellas well, I mean, on the wait. kids. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like in the narrative, well, that in the narrative, yes, but in the manufacturing of this film. Yeah, you know, this is supposed to be anti-LSD. This this video. 
God, no one is going to watch this video. Ever again. <laughs> this is what it's like, man. This is what it's like to be on LSD, dude. This is what it's like to be in the off season, you guys. We're trying to do our best. Yeah, I mean, if, if wait, people wait. would just they were they were wait. watching a no. film within the film, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This is the end of the party and the lights come on. Christopher Nolan's a fucking hack, dude. He stole the idea from this. <laughs> Parents seeking an answer. Their common bond was fear. This is some inception shit, is neighbors. what you're saying. Mm hmm. And Memento. Was that him? Oh. And Tenet. Nice edit. This is a real Batman Begins here. <laughs> hey, that's my favorite of the, of the trilogy. Yeah. The begins, not uh, Dark Knight. Yeah. Huh. I'd probably feel different if I watched Dark Knight again. I mean, I guess Heath Ledger died for Most nothing, huh, Paul? An accident caused by the use of LSD. <laughs> I only, I only saw it Some once in the theater. I, need, I, I desperately need to revisit it. It was drugs. I mean, let's just talk about this. Who cares about whatever this fucking? Movie uh, is? excuse me. Her doctor gave her some medication but with a warning. I'm not, trying to pay attention. Say fuck. But she thought oh. warnings were. Jay's the trying people. to raise children that don't do LSD. Yeah, so. I'm trying to decide if I should show this to them. <laughs> no, you should not. I mean, four, two, bored. and one. I mean, can you start too early and drug prevention? They would their minds. They would have no idea what was happening. I know, they, they watch, like, Moana and Zootopia, like, four times a day. That's what they're into. I like Zootopia. Yeah, Zootopia really is really good. Zootopia. It's really good. Like, even Very for an adult, it's really, it's like L.A. Confidential, yeah. but a cartoon. It's one of those yeah. I saw, um, everyone uses alcohol to escape Moana? No, not die. Moana. Wait, yeah, Moana. I saw that in the theater. Really? And yeah, I was with my... You could Jay, you remember Adrian from Kentucky, you. my cousin? Of course. Well, I was there. with his kids. Okay. Was Adrian, Adrian there? I got none, no problem. Uh, I got was no Adrian problem there Moana. from Kentucky. What about Adrian? Was he there with Kentucky? the kids, or was it just you and no, the kids? No, no, no. He was in he was in Kentucky. I was with his kids in Illinois with my mom. Boy in the and uh, uh, yes. there was a preview this for Zootopia, and it was the DMV fit. sloth no scene. It's great. The mm. They played the they played that was the preview. <laughs> they played the whole <laughs> scene. It's a great scene. That's Aaron's, Aaron's, Aaron's like, favorite I'm, scene. I'm like, I'm there. Yeah. yeah. But I, I was not there. Yeah, the movie's a lot like, I mean, it's a good representation. The movie's fucking great. Alright, I'll check it out. And parents have been put on the defensive by neighbors, the police, uh, teachers. These are the LSD so kids. This is the LSD bus. Yeah, it's like a clown car. See, they're all clowns. That's how many were in there. So this is what uh, Mystery Science Theater had to go through, drugs. actually, like, trying to figure out how to make jokes Some about stuff. Yeah, and that's why they skipped this one. <laughs> they just said long-haired kids can be smart, too. If they're to become participating got a text members from of the world, Tim Bob Mike here. Let's to see what it says. And to feel Gonna some of the text this to Mike in the morning. Well to become an adult. Oh my God! Otherwise, it's only. What does that mean? Away from Here, I'll, I'll hold it up on Gchat, Mike. Well, I can't. I'm watching a movie right now. I can't see Certainly it. There are no, just look at Gchat. Been <sighs> God, I have a full screen going on. Wow. We cannot help All right, I'm coming. We meet the dangers with hold on, where is it? Lies. Paul, don't go away yet. We tell ourselves. Wait, Lies why is he gonna send that to me in the morning? Oh, because it's. Oh, wait, is it his, is it Michael P. S. Hayes' birthday or something tomorrow? It's yeah, it's Michael P. S. Hayes looking sexy as hell. But why tomorrow, not right now? I don't know. I had met with many such parent groups before. Yeah, if it's March, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm busy right now, so don't send it to me now. You know what? What? I'm gonna type. Send it to him. Right. No, no, no. Tell him to do it in like Sandra's 20 minutes. God damn it, I'm busy. How are you guys going to pass the quiz at the end of this? Oh, Great. I don't give a shit at <laughs> point. I don't care about this movie at all. This is a lot like uh, Psycho. What's the movie we like? Psychomania, Paul. A little bit of Psycho Betty's from Planet Pussycats. Oh, hell yeah. That guy's hair is not that long. Now let me tell you something. Here we go. Bill has tuned his father out. And where do you think he learned how to do that? Wow. His dad. He learned it from you, Mr. Jones. Me? Me? Oh, wow. <laughs> Not just from you, Mr. Jones. From all of us. 
Wait, is this movie we actually about how, like, you'll stop together. kids from doing drugs if you're not a piece of shit parent? I think it is. I mean, I'm kind of into that, but also, go ahead and do LSD. I'm <laughs> saying to do it. We start teaching it to them uh, very boy. young. We neglect our children, and then they turn to the drugs? And we never stop. Excuse us, Probably. Ms. Boston. Do you mind if we ask you a question about the assignment? I don't have time. You think that the writer's implication was that the character was dreaming? Oh, look at his belt. <laughs> it's clearly sloppy, which means he's... <laughs> he's got his hands in his pocket. You know drugs. he's a piece of shit then. Involved with their appearance, not their problems. What? If nobody listens, not even at home, a kid can feel There was a real stigma about long oh, hair, you know, back then. Talk. You make them conceited if you hang in every word they say. Make them think whatever they say is important. What they say is important. Yeah, it is. might even be a cry for help. Those hippies are at it again. The police were <laughs> right more last night up on the strip. Oh, Daddy, you're always picking on them. Mary was there and she said they didn't do a thing. It was the police. And it says... Yeah, right fuck the police. That, um, alcohol does more harm to your nervous system. Well, the alcohol lobby doesn't want that known. Stop reading that underground trash and pay more attention to your homework. Oh, come on. That looks Wait, like a well-produced like paper. L is this a pro-LSD movie? I'll call you later from the club. <laughs> I doubt that. Maybe. I mean... What is she eating? <laughs> the 60s? Can a person have any freedom in their freedom? It just looks like... Freedom? Like, I have a sausage. Her imagination Might be, or some sort of jello with mayonnaise in it, you know. Just a minute, are you going out barefooted? It's yeah, outside. sausage or jello with mayonnaise. A young lady I mean, the 60s, right? Nancy was testing, not consciously, but needfully. She needs boundaries. To make the small decisions in her life. Let go of her fucking Nancy's wrist, himself. Jesus. I mean, okay, I Nancy's cute, cute though. Paul, what she's 12. For other reasons. <laughs> she's not 12. Nah, Some she was 16. Mrs. Porter had read that long sleeves were being worn to cover needle marks. Green. People, oh, God. Look at all this green. It, the people who uh, watch this are still voting. She felt both oh, and God. She had to and they still them. haven't learned they should listen to younger people. <laughs> and people well, that want to go back to this. We just did a, a, a podcast age. with a lot of green in it, so we're a little uh, triggered right now. Yeah. Looking for those track marks, Billy. But what happens to the avenues <laughs> of communication that we must check up on our children in the dark by flashlight? What is that? Check Kids up on the... They have no manners, no sense of value. Half of them are long-haired drug addicts. <laughs> you just have to listen to the news or read the papers to see it. Hey, uh, viewers, I, uh, news, or are you going to listen to your kids? Change my, uh, Wright, phone wallpaper today to... I've got a picture to say of Jay's wife. I just want to show it off really of quick. And sloppy it's too. Cool. Especially Bill. Jay, <laughs> you're a lucky man. <laughs> you want to show them uh, do you understand what I mean when I said that looks like a character? I, I said when I saw it, it looks like a character you designed in Fallout. The individuals. Like it looks. It's, it really does. You're right. Yeah. It looks like a character generated with that system. My children have sense enough to leave LSD alone, but how can I be sure when it's so available? One of the foremost authorities on LSD is Dr. J. Thomas Ungerleiter of the UC Ungerleiter? Psychiatric Institute. I want you to hear huh? what he has to say about it. It's a nice place. I'd like to share some of my thoughts with you about LSD. Is that him? Is that Ungerleiter? Yes. Of LSD, the titular Ungerleiter. The drugs of abuse. Is really a story of much more. Boy, Chris is really missing out on this. He, uh, he would be going off. Teenagers, teeny boppers, adolescents, or whatever. He's and those a, no those scientist would say teeny boppers. For drug usage is a symptom. The story is that of adults' defensive. Disagree on hysteria, that, but you know. Scapegoating, frantic passing of laws, and real helplessness. It's also a story of youngsters' rebellion. Gullible Who's not using their headphones? I'll show off my beer koozie just for a second. <laughs> I'm just trying to distract people as much as I can from this actual movie. Hey, Paul, what's your audio like? What we call a real I didn't even gap. fucking check. God, I hope it's... I'm hearing an echo. Someone's not using headphones. 
I'm using headphones. I just might have my volume turned up too much. Or on. You should turn it off. Simple cause, like being too permissive or too strict. On my TV. Not caring for the kids. On something. Nor can one expect. All right, I'll mute it. Be a drug expert. No, I can't hear what the movie's talking about. What are you? What is your setup, dude? No, no one's to blame. I have. No simple answer. Here, I'll show no you, Noah. Yeah, I'll do a tour of the setup while we learn about the, this uh, bullshit, the dangers, of uh, dangers of LSD, which is not a thing. So, you guys are on my tablet through Gchat, which is being showcased right now on my uh, GoPro. Alright, and then I'm yeah. watching the uh, movie on my TV via YouTube through the link that you sent me. Oh. Some good-natured horseplay. Uh, and then I have my, uh... Zoom. Wait, Jay, did I miss something That's good? It? Miss some good-natured... Some good-natured horseplay. you don't care about the answer? Well, because I... No, because I was worried about the audio, because the audio is bad now. Well, uh, the audio is bad on Gchat. I'm recording on my Zoom. The hippie has taken... The young lady into the woods to give her LSD. As we call them. Okay. okay. Any adolescent. But what he did this, this, all this does is make me want to watch and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, man, recently, the last, like, maybe a month ago, I, I learned a lot about, uh, what's his name? Tim Leary or whatever, the guy who, like, really, like, got way into studying LSD. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, interesting, interesting situation. <laughs> We could probably say yeah, Disneyland. my next door neighbor uh, grew up with him. Let me know hand, if you want a comment from her. Perceptivity I mean, on this, yeah, you should probably get a little thing on here. All right, I'll he see if I can. I tell you what, if I can get a comment from her, world. I will. Well, let's edit it in right here. That Perfect. He didn't see. That was great. Thanks, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Madison. If you're curious, Paul, I'll send you a link. It's pretty interesting. Now we're talking about man's individuality somehow. I'm not curious. You're not curious you about your own individuality, Paul? Really so no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not curious really about turn off his listening what it was like to grow up with Tim Sometimes Timothy Leary. Sometimes we all drug use is a giant communist plot. Sometimes we advocate censoring the radio station. <laughs> a communist plot? Is that what it just said? I mean, right? I don't know. I don't know because you made Sometimes me mute the TV, Mike. I can't hear anything. Oh, Paul, we'll but tell you what it's happening. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you, know, don't worry. That the youngster has to help us to create a better world. He said youngster. Of we need to team up with the kids. Good. Yeah, the youngsters. But adolescence is a time of paradoxes. These kids okay. actually want us to retain control of the home. Kids need the boundaries. And the campus, yeah. And not to panic. Well, yeah. Or to be totally permissive. They want to know our ideas. But they wow, don't audience, how enthralled are you right now? <laughs> like, but the wow. The adolescent says instead to test Super good stuff. Like, so listen to the kids and then ignore them. Then he watches our it's, Yeah, it's like share your it's ideas, but don't to let the actually. Explore new ideas. <laughs> For ideas and even rebellion can be good. But not the drug rebellion. <laughs> ideas, ideas, and rebellion uh, can be good, but not the drug rebellion. The yeah, it's such a fundamental hypocrisy when we I think that the youngsters. Timothy that Leary drugs, would disagree with all of this. Well, mistakes. Timothy Leary was. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Madison said everything that drugs. is to be said what about Timothy mean? Leary. I'm sure. I mean, I think you would maybe enjoy hearing a more in-depth history than what Madison has shared. I'm pretty sure she shared a pretty in-depth history. Oh, I, Paul, as I've not heard, I'm sure. I just mean from a look outside of that madman's fucking insanity. What would mom think if she knew? What would mom think? Whereas they know if they're drinking alcohol and Who's their mom? parents found out, they'd probably right, just Timothy laugh. Leary's, I guess. Well, so what? Oh. We all drink too. <laughs> Okay. Some of the school a lot of moms out there. I mean, it's hard to say. You know. I, I think she'd probably be Others, okay with it. Where there minor drug problems. I'd like to see you do a video, Paul, of you watching this with your mom. By discussing drugs. This exact format. But letting the youngsters well, form their too late, because I still live in L.A. as of right now. Well, I mean, you can always follow up, right? I mean, do it again. But not the big lie. Yeah, I'm sure we the fans are clamoring for that. that they, I mean, look at all the likes we have on this video. We talk of deformed babies, unproven. All right, I'll look. What? 
It and says four. Fuck. Deform babies. But let's face it, we can't <laughs> equate the danger of a youngster rebelling with a very dangerous drug like LSD. Oh my the god. The of long hair. Even what happened? Not like long it's hair. not really a scare video. It's more no. of a parent education video. Like, hey, don't be so uptight. It is, it is, Jay, but then it dips into these weird things of, like, drugs mean long hair. Like, it just well, doesn't say, No, no, it's saying long hair doesn't indicate a drug oh. user. Oh, okay. LSD. I thought it was sad. <laughs> Hey, you guys LSD stands for Let's Simmer Down. Are you guys both recording on your phone? Yeah. yeah. Do you have your rear-facing camera on so you can see each other? No. Or, I mean, so that you can see yourselves? Yes. Alright, so you framed up pretty well. Yeah, no, yeah, I can see myself. The front, all right, cool. It's a little late to be asking that, Paul. Front facing or rear facing? It's a little late to be asking that. Yeah, it is. I mean, I just want to make sure, you know. Hey, Paul? on G-Chat, I can't fucking see you at all. What if I had my front facing camera and I was just taking a video of my desktop? <laughs> I will. Deal with, you know, I mean... Hey, Paul, I understand that you uh, have, have, have done some, some film work recently. But Jay and I are both also award-winning filmmakers, so maybe... The Dr. Ungerleiter has said... Ungerleiter! Hey, listen, we've all been drinking a little bit. I'm just reaction. putting it out there. Who's been it's fucking so drinking? We're self-conscious about our teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> right. We worry more about what the neighbors have to say than about... Oh, the God. You sound like a hippie, accusing us of saying one thing and meaning another. How many bottles of Malort have you drank this year? <laughs> Dude, the quarantine, my my alcohol consumption has gone down during quarantine, but my Malort consumption has gone up. It's... Well, that don't make no sense. <laughs> I don't think that works the way you think it works. No, well... No, because I'm not drinking as much like beer and stuff like that. But yeah. but I am like just because like it's like fuck it. I'm just been like nipping on a bottle of Malort rather than oh, yeah, hard nipping. drinking beers. Look, yeah, look at him nip on it. <laughs> Hold that bottle up, Mike. <laughs> no, not like that. I just meant to show us how much is in it. We listen right now when it's important to them. Uh, God. Oh, I don't know how you do it. I've been buying like a bottle of Malort every two weeks, I think. If we give them the same Maybe three. A passing stranger, we might be able to get I guess two weeks ain't too bad. Where, Mike? I don't, considering I don't drink any other like hard liquor. Like a little bit of gin, but it's not as much really. I haven't been drinking as much gin lately. No one can tell you. Mike. Yeah. Where you buy it? Every individual's different. Where do I buy it? Yeah. Every family knows for itself. Uh, what's gone before. Go Tavern in Chicago is where I buy my Malort. You've done wrong. You don't have to remember. Um, is that where we went somewhere? All the pressure. Bought like a slice of pizza and, and some fries or something. Is that it? Try to concentrate. Well, that'd be the native. I miss the native, no, but that's not the, the native. The well, native. Uh, they think a great Wait, no, fries NBR is not the native. It's walking distance from your place. It's a, uh, over. It's like an Italian joint. How do you know, Mom? You've never experienced it. You've never been there. Oh, Lucky Vito's is where we got pizza and fries. That's it. That's it. That's not a liquor place. Well, what about LSD? Mom doesn't have to do drugs to be able to talk about it. May affect your unborn children. Mom would probably fucking could affect your unborn though. children. No, I really don't. But why take a chance? You know, there's all sorts of jobs going on in research and investigations about LSD. So why not get on that side of the fence instead of being the guinea pigs? Oh, come on, Mom. Uh, uh, make sure to no, here's the thing. follow us on B Movie Mania uh, <laughs> on Instagram. We have t-shirts. Mom, Mom knows what the fuck's up. Because Mom was saying, if you want to do LSD, if you want to talk about LSD, you should do part of the research side, right? Because there's a lot going on. Oh, wait, it just ended. Oh, that's it. <laughs> But mom was right, because, like, fucking, speaking of Timothy Leary, that was his whole fucking thing. He just got to do a shit ton of LSD, because he was researching it. So, yeah, get the on that movie's side. Over, the, the, the movie's over? The movie's yeah, it over. ended. Yeah. Did you not know, Paul? No, I wasn't really paying attention the entire time. <laughs> Uh, well, basically, it said, don't be a shitty parent. Uh, yeah. Be careful if you're going to do drugs. Uh, LSD is pretty cool. So it's not a scare video at all. It wasn't at all. It was no, like, disco grandfather or whatever the fuck. Go disco godfather or whatever. No. It was, uh, 
just kind of parents don't be dicks and talk to your kids maybe they won't do drugs if you uh talk to them right but you know what all the same i want to thank charles chadwick for posting that video so that we could watch it yeah thanks charles yeah that's Charles also has Marijuana, The Great Escape, if you want to check that out, if you're into, uh, mm-hmm. I guess they're called scare videos. I mean, they were made that way, right? It was not, I don't know. They're like educational videos. I don't know. Um, I've hey, never seen a scare we... video about Malort. <laughs> <laughs> when, when we recorded earlier tonight for the episode that we were, you know, I won't, I won't say the name of the movie because... At the time of this recording, it's a secret. But actually, if this is coming out in the off season, it won't be a secret. So, it was love on a leash. Bark bark, bark bark. Um, did we do a, uh, you know, like our traditional subscribe and buy our T-shirts and all? That? Did we do that? Yep. Not traditional, but we did it. We like did I it. did it. I did it in the middle of the episode. <laughs> Yeah, and then I said it, uh, I think I yelled it while somebody was going off on something else. Yeah, at the end, yeah. And Jay, Jay will edit it to make sense. Yeah, Jay, I think you're going to find that I am essentially absent for the last 45 minutes of that episode. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, I mean, it's a little light on Paul, but. Well, what are you going to eh, do? You were in the kennel the whole time, Paul, it's fine. Yeah. Exactly, I was a bad boy. You were a bad, dog. bad doggy. You are a bad doggy. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this, uh, whatever this is, this weird little thing that we try to do for the uh, off season. You know, we're kind of trying to implement a little bit more video. Mm-hmm. There's some pushback from some people who are members of the show who will re- remain nameless. But we're, you know, we're doing it. We're trying to make it work. Right, guys? I don't think yeah. the pushback is about actual video. Well, you see, since Chris isn't here, he doesn't believe in video. He believes in the pure Uh, form of radio entertainment. Well, he's blind. How do you expect him to fucking watch video? I know. It's going to be hard getting him to frame up his own shot when he doesn't, can't see it. Anyway, he he watches all the movies with Braille. (laughs) That's all lies. Thank you for watching. He records in Braille, too. To watch our off season, co- but you know, the, we love the off season content, and we hope that you guys do too. It's some of the most fun stuff that we do. So it is. It really continue is. watching it, and uh, maybe we'll do another one of these. Who knows? Goodbye. <laughs>